Persona 5 Strikers is the sequel to not only my favorite JRPG game from the last decade, but also my favorite game of the entire PlayStation 4 generation. In this video, we'll give you all the info you need about the game and if the summer trip with the Phantom Thieves is worth it. The story of Persona 5 Strikers is set several months after the events of Persona 5. Yeah, you had right, Royals events and characters are not included and will not be mentioned in Strikers. It never happened. The game doesn't waste any time giving you any info about the events of Persona 5 or the characters. So if you never played any Persona game before, this might be the worst entry for you. You play again as the leader of the Phantom Thief Joker who reunites with Morgana and the rest of the group to take off for a summer road trip across Japan. Just before that, Joker, Morgana and Ryuji travels by accident into the metaverse by saying randomly a keyword that lets them discover a new threat. One of the so-called Monarchs. The Monarch steals desires from people and replaces them with their own selfish one. At the same time, the police discover strange activities in many different cities and blames the Phantom Thieves for that. Somewhat responsible for the new change of heart incidents is police officer Senkichi Hasegawa. He pretty much crashes the reunion party of the Phantom Thieves and forces them to work together with police, otherwise Joker will end up in jail. So the group of all favorite thieves don't really have any other choice and combine their summer trip with the mission to free Japan from the Monarchs. The Phantom Thieves working together with the police, what could go wrong? That sums pretty much the story plot, now let's break down the gameplay. You'll begin like Persona 5 or Persona 5 oh, yeah. in the free to explore slash chill with friends mode, but this time without worrying about school stuff. You can discover different places and locations with your van, but let me mention the side activities has been reduced to a minimum. When you travel to a new city, you have to locate and identify the monarch by doing this investigation minigame, which is basically just asking around town for information. Once the target is located and you gather enough information, you travel into the air, jail in the metaverse. The main goal in the metaverse is to break the defense of the castle from the monarch. For this, you have to collect core items. However, these are guarded by shadows. And that leads us to the new battle system. Persona 5 Strikers combat gameplay changed from Persona 5 turn-based to Musu fights. For those who are not familiar with Musu gameplay, Musu is set pretty much in the beat-em-up or hack-and-slash genre where you fight huge waves of enemies. Each character has their own light attacks which can be combined with special attacks into combos and guns which can be very helpful from the distance. The more you play with each character of your party, the more moves you unlock like follow-up combos, charge attacks, etc. Also, every Phantom Thief has their own persona that can be used while combat. Pressing the L1 button will make time stand still and let you choose between persona and their attacks. The right use of persona in battle is essential in combat. The key to success here is to attack enemy's weak points. This will stun your enemy which leaves him completely vulnerable and open for all in attacks. Your party will jump at him, deal a lot of damage to that specific enemy and also enemies around him. Every character has their own showtime meter. When maxed out, that character can perform the so-called showtime move. Depending on the persona's strength and enemy's weak points, this can deal an incredible amount of damage. <laughs> By the way, am I the only one that finds ironic that Jakusa is an RPG and Persona a brawler game now? You can leave almost any time the metaverse and come back at your own pace. Back in the real world, you can resupply or hang out with your friends in the city or in your van. The van, by the way, is HQ of the Phantom Thieves. It lets you enter the metaverse or a velvet room. In the Velvet Room, you can fusionize personas together you collected in the metaverse to a stronger one for Joker, or use points to upgrade their skills. You'll gain also access to the new shop in the van, where you can buy weapons, gears and items. That unfortunately means you will not see the coolest NPCs from Persona 5 in Strikers again. I have to be very honest, I was never a big fan of Musu games like Kassen, One Piece Pirate Warriors, Hyrule Warriors, or that other franchise which has 9 games in total and has been mentioned in literally every review, but Persona 5 Strikers does here a very good job by adding variety to fights, for example letting you use the environment and personas which makes the battles consistently fun, and while doing so, the game still keeps the unique Persona 5 charm. The new added soundtrack is incredible. Overall, it's fun to play. 
You will need many many hours to get used to that though. No, let me mention a couple of points I didn't enjoy that very much. This might be complaining in high standards, but definitely worth mentioning here. Let's begin with the overall UI. You have hints in mission objectives on the top right, this gigantic mini-map beneath, energy bar, your current player, your squad. Overall, this information could have been placed more discreetly or removed completely. It takes almost the whole screen. The problem of that is that the battles are crazy enough with even more information. I mean, you get weaknesses, critical hits point indicators in the screen and of course these are information that you need but everything buries locations of enemies and makes you lose orientation during combat i found myself occasionally just spamming persona attacks because i had no clue what is going on right now the biggest problem is here the camera during battles. It's your worst enemy in this game. Even if you change the speed to the highest settings, it cannot keep up. Since you fight waves of enemies, you need to change the camera very quick and place it in different angles, but you won't be able to do that in time, which will make you get hit constantly by enemies behind you. Sure, you can escape from that situation, reset the camera and then attack again, but because there are literally enemies everywhere, you have to do that while dodging at enemy attacks or magic spells. Spells. It's a pain in the ass. Speaking of, there is this thing with conversations. That might be just my opinion, but like in Persona 5, every time you sit down with the group, sooner or later you will pick different kind of answers to different kind of questions. However, I hate to say it, but nobody actually cares what Joker answers or has to say. You can pretty much just agree on something. If you disagree, you immediately get told that it's too late now to say something like that or that we don't have any other choice. Well then, why ask me? After a while I couldn't care less, so I picked just funny and stupid statement on purpose to at least get a laugh or two. I usually really focus on gameplay, but I have to admit this game doesn't look that good. I am playing with action mode which focuses here to deliver a better frame rate. I also tried graphic mode but even on graphic mode this game looks kinda washed out. Like playing a PlayStation 3 game with a 720 resolution on a 4K television. So that sums pretty much everything about the game. It really depends on how you play. If you do a lot of side missions, you will get 40 to 50 hours. Sure, compared to Persona 5, it might not deliver as much playtime, but it feels through and through like a true sequel. The story is fun and overall interesting with some new characters, new fighting system that will take some time, but feels great after you figure out how you harmonize combos, environment and Persona attacks all together. Persona 5 Strikers feels like a love letter to all the Persona 5 fans. If you like Persona 5 as much as me, you should get this game. Otherwise, just wait for a better price or better timing for Japan's summer trip with the Phantom Thieves. Muchas thank you for watching and see you.